Good morning. This is Akashvani Kohima. The morning news read by John Sienta. Lok Sabha Speaker on Billa said that the northeastern region has recently witnessed a significant shift towards development. Addressing the annual conference of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, India Region Zone 3, in Aizol yesterday, Pirla said the construction of railway lines, roads and air connectivity are essential for the economic growth of the Northeast. He further said that the Northeast region has a big role in fulfilling Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision to develop the country. Commissioner of Police Timapu Gavi Tuto Sope has informed that a road overbridge near Hotel Drakopan on NH29 will be closed to all vehicular movement starting from 1st October. A traffic advisory in this regard informed that the closure will continue until the rehabilitation work is completed. Sope said that the closure of the road overbridge has been necessitated due to the upcoming rehabilitation work. All vehicles have been advised to take alternate routes as the bridge will be completely cut off from both sides with effect from 6 a.m. on October 1. The advisory said that changes may be made to the traffic plan as required based on traffic conditions. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people of the country and abroad in a monkey bud program on Akashwani at 11 a.m. tomorrow. It will be the 114th episode of the monthly radio program. It will also be the fourth episode since Modi assumed office as Prime Minister for the third consecutive term. The Prime Minister will the program will be broadcast across the entire Kashvani and Doodarshan network, the AI News website and the News on Air mobile app. It will also be live streamed on the YouTube channels of AI News, DD News, the PMO and the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Agashvani will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The two-day state-level youth festival and the battle of the bands for schools organized by Youth Resource and Sports Department culminated at Arsemba Jotsuma with MLA Dr. Zilhito Rizzo gracing the voluntary program as special guest yesterday. Speaking at the program, Dr. Hutzo emphasized on the need to move beyond tribal divisions in order to overcome challenges to the social fabric of Naga society. He called upon the younger generation to be at the forefront of change, working to ensure that merit and talent are recognized across all communities. The MLA underscored the importance of education, skill development and entrepreneurship among the youth. He called upon the youth to contribute to society by creating opportunities and reducing dependency. In the Battle of the Bands, Kiers 4 of Model Higher Secondary School, Kohima, emerged as the champions. And Twensan District Football Team has clinched the title of the 23rd Inter District Football Championship, Dr. D.L. Trophy 2024, in a final match played at the Loyam Memorial Astro Turf Ground, Twensan District Football Team defeated Beren District 2-1 yesterday, gracing the closing ceremony as special guest, Minister for PWD Housing and Mechanical Engineering, P. Bashang Chang, emphasized on the importance of Dr. Diao Trophy. He said that the tournament is not just a competition, but a platform that empowers, unites and uplifts communities. Chang said that Dr. Diao's legacy is a testament to the perseverance, leadership and humility needed to reach great heights highlighting the ongoing efforts of the state government to improve sports infrastructure. The minister acknowledged the contribution of Chief Minister Nipirio in developing the Loyam Memorial Astro Turf Ground in Twensa. Chang said that the state government is committed to setting up sports infrastructure across the state through various government schemes. Chang loaded all the 16 participating teams and encouraged the young athletes to continue pursuing excellence. He also commended the Nagaland Football Association and the Twensan District Football Association for successfully organising the event. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.